Hi guys, Zach Winkleman here. I'm here today to talk about the axial skeleton. We'll begin with the skull anatomy. First, we'll talk about bones, bony landmarks, and sutures. To begin, we have our parietal bone. Next, we have our... Sorry, I'm going to turn this around. So we have our parietal bone here, our zygomatic arch, mandible, Ooh, right there is our maxilla, our nasal bone, our lacrimal, our ethmoid, our frontal bone, our sphenoid, our TMJ joint, which is located right here, our external metis, which is just uh, distal to the TMJ. You can kind of see a little hole right there. Right there. External metis. Right distal to that, we have our mastoid process. If we look at a front view of our skeleton, we have our sphenoid bone, our vomer, so this area right here. We have our See if you can see that pretty well. Got our coronal suture here. The suture that goes down the middle is called our sagittal suture. And in the back we have what we call our lamboidal suture. This bone back here is called the occipital. Next we're going to go over some muscles of our uh, skeleton. So to begin, let me get this, make sure this is there for you guys. All right, right above the ear, we have the temporalis muscle. Located right here. This is your masseter. This muscle here is your epicranus. Around the eye, right there, we have our orbiculus oris around the mouth. Right here we have our orbiculus oris. And we also have our two zygomatic muscles. So we have our zygomaticus major and zygomaticus minor. Alright guys, as we continue on we're going to move over to our eye. We actually have two eye models that we'll be using. So the first one we're going to identify some structures on this one. Okay, so give you an idea of what we're looking at here, okay? So on this eye model, we have our sclera, which is the white part. We have our cornea, okay? And then if we take off this outer structure, so now we're gonna look at the model like this. We then have the, what we call our choroid on top, okay? Right in the middle, we have our pupil, and the color part in the middle is called our iris. So right there, so we have our pupil and the color part is called the iris. As we continue to look at this model, we also have uh, what we call the um, retina. So I believe if we take this out, you can kind of see the lens here. Oop, that's what fell off. So we have our lens for our eye. In the back right here, we have our optic nerve. So basically, it would sit in here like this, and this is your optic nerve that comes out the back. And then right on the top, we have what we call our retina. In addition to those, we also have a few more things. So if we put our eye back together, we're going to talk about some muscles. So some of the muscles that we have here, on the posterior part, we have the inferior oblique, which is this portion. And then we have this muscle here, which is called our inferior rectus. On the top of our eye, we have our superior rectus. And coming off to the side, we have our superior oblique. On the side, um, we also have our lateral rectus and our medial rectus. The medial rectus is on the same side as the superior oblique. Okay. Um, in addition, we're going to go over some other eye models now. 
Alright, on the second eye model, we're going to go over those same muscles that we saw in the other eye model, but I think this does a, good, a little bit better job. So, kind of orient you guys what we're looking at here. So, we have our eye socket in the face, and then if we turn this to the side, we're able to see all of the muscles of the eye, okay? So, if we, if I hold that right there for you guys, you should be able to see them all. So, on top, we, oh, sorry, on top, we have our superior rectus on the inside here. We have our medial rectus. On the lateral side, which comes back all the way to here, this is going to be your uh, lateral rectus. On the top, we have our superior oblique and our superior rectus. So superior oblique, superior rectus. Finally, we're going to go over the ear and the associated structures. To begin, we have our oracle our external acoustic medius, our tympanic membrane. So if we take this out, it's actually this structure here, and that just sits in there like such. Okay, So that's our tympanic membrane. Down towards the end, this little canal is called our auditory tube. In addition, if we look at this specific structure at the top, make sure you guys can see that. This structure right here, we have the... Let me use my pointer here for you. All right, that should do. So we have our tympanic membrane here. Right above the tympanic membrane is what we have called the malleus, the incus, and then we have our stapes bone, this bone right here. In addition to those, we also have a few things on the top. So this part right here is what we call our semi-circular semi canals, our vestibule. Our acoustic nerve is this yellow portion right back here acoustic nerve, and then our cochlea. So if we pull these out specifically, if we look at these again, so we have our tympanic membrane. This part is called your malus, your incus. And we look at this part, we have our stapes. Yep, our stapes bone, our semicircular canals, our cochlea, and then our optic nerve. 